Uh, hello everyone, Zerus is back again. She has finally got a new microphone, yay! Anyway, um, I thought I would put in one more, um, tutorial before I go back to my Let's Play. And this one's going to show you how to, um, what is it? Uh, make your own bosses. It's very easy. All you're dealing with is enemies and bosses basically so what you want to do is that do you see where you see one by one one by two and one by four right after that you want to see an icon and if you hold your mouse over for just a little bit it's going to say um, database you click on it and you're going to see a whole bunch of tabs now I've been messing with it so it's not going to be on the first tab which is actors. Now let's see how does this work. I let's see. It's been a while I haven't messed with it. Okay. Uh, okay, I believe these would be considered your bosses that I'm just clicking on. Well, some of them are anyway. Anyway, getting back to the point at hand. Okay, there's the groups. Okay. What you're going to do is that at the bottom of... On the left-hand side, at the bottom of the enemies tab, click change maximum and change it to... Let's just say 40 or some number. It doesn't matter. What you do is that you go, you're going to go to the middle, and you name your boss whatever you want it to be. So let's see what would be a good name. Let's see. I'll just put the name of my boss that I'm using in mine, and then now we double click where it says Bat Battler. Haha, <laughs> Battler. Battle graphic, and just look through the ones that you want and let's see here let me move this over that's not it where are you you're here somewhere I know it okay you're not there come on I know you're no getting close I guess elementals keep going keep going nope Aha, there we go. Then click OK. Also, what you, if you don't want to use what the game gives you, just look back to how to transfer pictures from your computer. It'll be, it's called, what was it called? Importing and exporting stuff. It could be pictures, songs, or whatever. Now, here you get and also where it says name, graphic, and everything, you can um, tweak things like how much HP he has, how much mana or whatever he has, and so on. And then attacker animation is like whatever, whenever he attacks, what animation do you want it? And then if it's targeted, what animation do you want? And then whenever he's beaten, you tell him how much experience you want, how much gold, and if you want to, if you want any treasure to be included. And then also you can give him any, you know, any elemental attacks or status effects like dark, darkness, confuse, and so on. So I'm just going to leave it standard. And just change this experience to what would be. I'm just gonna put a thousand for a kick of it. Gold. We'll put 600 treasure. Okay. You can have it either item, weapons, or armor. Depending on which one you click, you just click whatever. So I clicked on weapons and I clicked on iron bow. 
Like I said, it could be for items or armor or whatever. Probability is just, um, if it's at 100%, you're going to get it. If it's at 50, you have half and half. Stuff like that. And, um, so just choose which one you want, and there you go. Now, right here where it says action, if you want to, you can tell it to do certain things. Like, when it gets to a certain turn, you can tell it to do whatever, whenever it... Okay, let's say, like, if you're... If you want your boss to heal when he's at 50%, just where you see HP, just check it and make, have it 50% or however you want it. And then, let's see, basic, you can attack, skill, have him heal, it depends on what heal you want him to have it. And then, okay, then apply. And then, let's see. Alright, you, you're going to go to troops now. Go to change maximum. It's going to be the same place as it was with enemies. Change it to 40 or whatever. Click OK. And then type in the name of the boss that you made in enemies. Now, on, right, on the right hand side, like right around like under the end of edit battle back and battle test scroll down and look for the name of the boss that you've created and you want to click on the arrow that's pointing towards the battle background and that will insert him in there now do you see where it says conditions where it says tab one you can make your boss talk if you want to so let's see, we'll have them s put in show text. We'll say Do you really insist on fighting me? So be it. I'll be sure to make your that's painless. And then there we go. And then also you could um, it's like just making ordinary events except that the boss will run it. Um, let's see. I'm not familiar with making him do anything other than heal himself, so don't really ask me about it, okay? Uh, give me time to fiddle, fiddle around with things, and we'll get there. So we're going to go to apply, and to test out your battle, kind of obvious, click on battle test, and then don't worry about it. You can check out the characters if you want, but we're just going to leave it with the norm, and then continue, and going to kick butt! Wow, I was about to say, why is it taking a while? Oops. Wow. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I had the music like really loud. Yeah, there you go. Everyone levels up. Get Iron Bow. And then there you go. And that, my friends, is how you add in a boss. Now, I will show you how to input said boss in the next video. And, uh, I can't remember not. I'll show you how to insert, how to s put in a save screen, how to put in a shop, along with how to put in a boss battle. So, let me go ahead and save it. And compress game data. Ow, that hurt. Okay. And then you get a confirmation. And there you go. Alright. See you guys in a few.